All right, so we're going to put together a, a simple hovercraft, and um, you can download directions online um, at uh, amasci.com, amateurhovercraft.html, and uh, it has some simple directions. Basically, all we're going to do is we got a half inch board. Uh, we drew out a circle. We're going to cut it. <clears throat> we're going to put a. Uh, we're going to drill a hole that's just big enough for our air vent to go through. And then we're gonna drill a hole in the middle uh, to attach a plastic cap onto it, underneath it. Um, <clears throat> the instructions say all you need is an old shower curtain or possibly a, uh, a cheap tarp. Uh, but what we have is we have some, uh, some Tyvek um, house wrap, um, which has, uh, it's fibrous and durable, so it should last better than a plastic um, plastic shower curtain. Um, some other additions we're going to do is we're going to add on some uh, pipe insulation to the side so that if these bump into walls uh, it doesn't cut through the plastic or the Tyvek uh, but gives it some uh, some bumper resistance. And basically all this is all that we need. A stapler with some staples, um, a cutter to cut the plastic out, to cut the circle out, a uh, bolt, a couple washers, and a stop nut, quarter inch each. All of these are in the directions. A plastic lid, um, a jigsaw, and a drill, and an air source. Could be a um, could be a leaf blower, or it could be a shop vac. This is an old style shop vac that uh, has a vacuum side, exhaust, and an intake, uh, so that it'll blow the air out and fill it up. All right, so uh, we'll put this together and then I'll uh, show you the finished product. Uh, step one, I got half inch plywood. I tried to find the, the straightest board there is. Um, I find my center point right here and then I use a string and I drew out a, a circle that's approximately four feet in diameter. Uh, so I'm gonna cut that out and then we're gonna drill a hole in the middle for the bolt and drill a hole for the exhaust, okay? Go ahead and cut. All right, so now what we need is we need to make a, um, an opening for our air exhaust, a hole, and that should be half the distance of our um, four foot diameter, which would be about uh, one foot from the center, 12 inches. Um, we want the hole to be as snug as possible, so we're gonna draw around this and uh, this, this bit, one and a half inch, uh, just fits on there. So we're going to drill in right there. <laughs> all right. So um, all, all we did was we cut out the wheel, I and I had drilled a, um, a hole, one and a quarter inch. And then you helped me put this on, right? Yeah, we put this on. All right, so, so go ahead and explain, because um, we cut it out, explain um, what we did from there, drilling the hole, and then all the rest of it. All right? <coughs> Come to see the finished product, Mr. Sherman. Sherman. Yeah. Anyways, so we cut this hole. Science. It's one and one fourth inch in diameter to fit the shop back in. Then we put this block on it so that it would stay far enough up so it wouldn't rip through, just like that. And first what we did, we stapled this right here, it opens up in the middle. Pipe insulation. Pipe insulation. It opens up right here. We put it on the corners so that if it hit the walls, or not on the corners, no corners in a circle, we, we put it on the edges so that it would, uh, if it hit the walls, it wouldn't rip through this, this uh, tarp and stuff that's used for houses. So we put it on, we stapled it down every two inches, another staple. And then we decided that we were going to put this on here and wrap it around and we stapled this all the way around and then we taped it so that it would be pretty tight 
And then the last thing we did, we cut six holes here. And then put this so on. that the air could escape when you were here. Yeah. Oh, I did. Yeah. He did that. That was him. So just, I don't even know what this is for. It holds it up, so it makes like a donut shape. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. And then, well, obviously, we put that, glued the black on, and it was ready to go. You just put it in, and it goes. All right, so now we have, uh, Haley's going to sit. We had to, no, Kaylee. Kaylee, I'm sorry. We had to make it tight. So. Tight, like. A tiger. Tiger. All right. Uh, Kaylee, if you could just come sit Indian style. Oh. Should I take your shoes off? No, you can keep on. You don't have to actually sit. Yeah, all right. And then uh, put this in between your legs. Shh. Put this on your lap. All right. Now, if someone's got to grab that, that wire, the wire, and make sure that it. Are you ready? No. no what am I going to do? Where is it going? going? He's not going fast, but he's going. Uh, it's all right. hey, maybe I'll go on with the weight limit. If you can do it, I can do it. <laughs> oh, and that's in the lockers he is. Oh, I'd stop shaking. The majestic beast, here he comes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's bring it back. I didn't 